up to speed, week in review. Hey everyone, busy week and a lot to cover. So yesterday Verizon's board of directors met in New York City, something they do monthly to review Verizon's strategy and results and discuss other business matters. As a result of that meeting, Hans Vestberg will now serve as chairman of the board in addition to his role as CEO, effective March 8th. Lowell McAdam will remain part of the board until he officially retires on May 2nd. The board also appointed Clarence Otis Jr. to succeed Francis Keith as lead director. Francis is retiring this year after serving on the board since 2006. Also, board members Member Richard Carrion announced he will not be standing for re-election. Now, Up to Speed wasn't the only one covering the Super Bowl. A lot of press coverage for Verizon throughout the week, including Entertainment Tonight, which spoke with director Peter Berg before the big premiere of the documentary The Team That Wouldn't Be Here. ET also spoke to the Pittsburgh Steelers' Juju Smith-Schuster, who tried out his skills at the Verizon 5G Quarterback Challenge. Not too bad for a wide receiver. Now, over 116,000 people visited our Super Bowl live experience. But even though the Pats and the Rams didn't put up big numbers, we did especially when it came to our team that wouldn't be here campaign. We were the number one most talked about brand on Twitter. We created the most viewed Super Bowl spot on YouTube. We received 98% positive sentiment in social media and over 406,000 people shared the campaign on social and by doing so donated to first responders. Yesterday we gave V-teamers a sneak peek at a new ad that began airing last night. We're the only network to win in all four major awards. That's a big deal, but we know it's so much more than that. It's about the people who do the work and the people we do the work for. Some great promos on the end there. We also have a lot of deals that are arriving just in time for Valentine's Day. Be sure to check those out on the web. This week, we announced a billion dollar green bond to support sustainability initiatives. Green bonds raise money, allowing investors to invest in sustainable projects with environmental and climate benefits. This bond supports our long-term commitment to benefit the communities that we serve and minimize our impact on the environment. And today is the final day of the 2019 Makers Conference. Our colleague Katie Magnata has more from California. Hi everyone, it's been amazing participating in this year's Makers Conference. I caught up with Guru, Verizon media leader, to get his thoughts on the conference. Look, Makers is a very core part of our value system. We think diversity and inclusion is something we live by every day. And makers, when we think about that part of Verizon Media and Verizon, it's really the foundation to it. So I'm excited because together we have an opportunity to create a profound and a beautiful chorus of voices dedicated to instituting change and much needed dialogue. I also caught up with some of our Makers at awardees to talk about their experiences. I think the one word that describes Makers Conference for me so far has been motivating. Um, have heard a lot of inspiring and empowering women and it just makes me want to get out there and do more and use my voice and um, keep building this community. Thanks Katie and congratulations to the 2018 President's Cabinet winners. These 257 V-teamers represent the top 1% of Verizon Salesforce from VES, VPS and Wireless. The honor earned them a trip to Madrid with a guest to celebrate their accomplishment. Be sure to check out the VZ Web article and leave a comment to congratulate them for all that they've done to serve our customers. Well, that'll wrap it up for us this week. Have a great weekend, everyone. Until next time, you're up to speed. <laughs>